Steve Seibold said that the mental toughness process is not about going from good to very good, it's about going from good to great. Anyone who settles for very good is destined to spend their golden years bathed in a sea of regret, wondering why. Welcome everyone from Orlando, Florida to this remote edition of World Class Wednesdays. Today's lesson is champions know very good is bad. The world class controls over 90% of the wealth in America for a simple reason. They are competing in a marketplace full of amateurs. The only group that has a fighting chance against the great ones is the upper class, which represents approximately 10% of the population. Most members of the upper class are very good performers. In order to ascend to the world class, performers must be classified as great. At the highest levels of performance, very good is considered to be bad. There are lots of performers who are very good, but performers who are great are rare. When Steve Seibold was playing competitive tennis, he was a very good player, but compared to the world class, he was bad. Very good performers are no match for the great ones. The difference between a very good leader and a great leader is the respect and loyalty of his or her team. The difference between a very good doctor and a great doctor could be life or death. The difference between a very good salesperson and a great salesperson is financial freedom. For the average person to be classified as very good is something to be proud of. For the great ones, it's an insult. Both groups have the same potential, the only difference is in their thinking. Your action step for today is to ask this critical thinking question. Are you a good performer, a very good performer, or a great performer? For the correct answer, check the results you've been getting in each area of your life up until this point. Your self-assessment represents the truth. Your results represent the fact. 